Hello children, in the first video, we have seen what are the units of length, how to measure length correctly. In this section, I will be discussing conversion of one unit of length to another unit. For that, here you know you have to know this one kilometer equals to thousand meter, one meter equals to hundred centimeter, one centimeter is ten millimeter, one inch equals to two point five centimeter, and one feet equals to twelve inches. This relationship you should know. You, if you want, you can write this in your notebook also. And now I will be solving. I will be doing example one. Uh, example one from the page seventeen of your textbook. Now listen carefully. Page seventeen, question number one of your textbook. Page seventeen. Page seventeen, question number. One. Once I'll just uh, I'll teach you how to do the conversion, and after this I'll give you some questions which you have to do in your notebook. What are the questions? Number one, question it is saying convert the following measurements into centimeter. I have to convert into centimeter. For the detailed question, you can refer the page seventeen, and the number one question is four meter. Number two. Uh, let me change the value here. It's saying three meter fifty five centimeter. Let me make this two meter forty five centimeter. Number three. And there's thirty inches. I'll make it twenty inches. And number four. Two feet. Oh, let's leave that number four. Four meter. I have to convert all this. Units four meter, two meter, forty five centimeter, and twenty inches into centimeter. Now let's see first question four meter. I know one meter equals two hundred centimeter. Yeah, the relationship. Five. One meter equals two hundred centimeter. So it becomes four meter means four into hundred equals to four hundred centimeter. In the same way, coming to question number two, two meter forty five centimeter. Forty five centimeter is already in centimeter. I have to just convert this part into centimeter. So two meter equals to how much centimeter? Two into one hundred plus forty five. So this equals to two forty five centimeter. Last one inches. I have to convert. And here on the board you can see one inch equals to two point five centimeter, which means twenty. I will multiply by two point five, so twenty inches equals to twenty into two point five centimeter. So this will be fifty centimeter. Here's how we do the conversion. Very easy, provided you know this relationship. You should you should know one kilometer equals to thousand meter, one meter equals to hundred centimeter, and so on. And if you know this relation, it becomes very easy to convert from one unit to another. Now this is a assignment. We have to convert this equation. We have to convert the going into. Uh, let's see, uh, centimeter. This is a question. This you have to do in your notebook. You don't have to send me. You just complete these questions in your notebook. Number one, uh, three point five meter, convert to centimeter. Number two, uh, same questions are uh, four meter, thirty centimeter. Number three, four. Fit. So you have to convert all. You have to do this question in your notebook. You have to convert these values: three point five meter to centimeter, four meter thirty centimeter to centimeter, and number three five feet to so how much centimeter it will be. You have to do this. You have to try this. If you are not able to do, you can mail me. Then in the next video, I will solve for you. Now we will move on to next topic: measurement of mass.
measurement of mass mass before going to the measurement of mass let's understand what is mass so the amount of matter of matter present in an object mass is the amount of matter present in an object if an object is lighter you can say the amount of mass is very less there. if an object is heavier you can assume that it has more mass in it fine the presence of uh, presence of matter makes an object lighter or heavier suppose it has more amount of matter means its mass is large if it has less amount of matter its mass is less and we know we measure mass in kg unit of mass unit of mass we have kilogram kilogram in the short form we write kg gram in short form we can write g and for a small one we have milligram also mg these are the different units of mass kilogram gram and milligram the standard unit of mass is kilogram this is the si unit of mass now we will see what are the devices to measure mass what are the devices to measure mass Mass can be measured. There are two devices. Number one, beam balance, and number three, no, next one, number two. Electronic balance. Balance. Now, does big balance are not used much, and in local language, it is also called Tarazu. I believe you have seen where it has two pans. Uh, it has a rod and one rod and pointer in between and two pans, and they are the slots of one kg, five hundred gram, two kg, and all. To measure in one pan, you have to put the slot, and in the next pan, you have to put the item which you want to buy. And next one, electronic balance. This electronic balance is most common nowadays. You will find in jewelry shop, in every grocery shop, you will find electronic balance. It has an LCD device, and there's a one panel where to keep your things. It is very easy to use. When you place an object on the panel, it will show its mass. It will display the mass of an object in the LCD display. Uh, LCD screen. Okay. From beam balance and electronic balance, electronic balance is the most precise one. It will display, depending upon the configuration, it can display a very small mass also. In beam balance, we can suppose I am measuring 1 kg, it will show, it will be near about 1 kg only. In beam balance, the measurement will not be precise, but in electric balance, they will be very much precise. As you have seen, when you place an object, it will display one point something like 1.05 gram and something. It's very precise. And it is used in jewelry shop also. In the journal, the balance which is used in jewelry shop is a most sensitive one. And you have seen it is enclosed also. It has a glass door to prevent the flow of air because sometimes mass get disturbed when the wind blows and all. Now we will discuss conversion of units. In measurement of length, also we have discussed con conversion of units. How to change meter to centimeter, kilometer to meter, and all. Here also in conversion of units, we will see how to change kilogram to gram, or vice versa, or, or even the sometimes kids come gram to kilogram, or even to milligram also. For that, we have to know this relationship. One quintal. One quintal equals to hundred kg, and one kg
thousand gram and one gram equals to thousand milligram. Thousand milligram. Okay, for suppose let's see if it's one situation. Let me call this as A and B kilogram to gram. Suppose five kg will be how much gram? It's very easy. I'm converting from bigger to smaller. You yeah, have one kg equals to thousand gram. In the same way, five kg will be equals to five into one five and five into one thousand five thousand gram. This becomes easy. 5 kg will be equal to how many grams? It will be equal to 5000 grams because I know the relation 1 kilogram equals to 1000 gram. So I have simply multiplied both the sides by 5. So it becomes 5 kg equals to 5000 gram. Now, in number bits, it's quite difficult. Suppose I have, uh, let me call 500 gram equals to how much kg? 500 gram will be equal to how much kg? Here, I will divide by 1000. Now listen carefully children. Whenever you are converting bigger to small, I will multiply. So in the first case, I have converted 5 kg to gram. There I was converting bigger to small. So I multiplied by 1000. I got the answer. Here I am converting smaller to bigger. In this case, I will divide by 1000. So it will be 500 by 1000 equals to 0 0.5 kg. This is how we have to solve. Just remember there is multiplication and division involved. Whenever you are converting bigger to small, multiplication and small to bigger, there is division. Now please try these questions. Now here in this section I will give you two questions. Altogether we will be getting three questions. Today, here yeah, the number one, this is number two question. Convert, convert to uh, gram. Uh, number one, three point five kg. Two. 6 kg and number 3 uh, half kg this is number 2 number 3 convert to kg uh, number 8 300 grams number 3 7000 grams let me call this 7000 grams and number C, uh, 2500, 250 grams. Okay. And this will be this much to these questions. If you have doubt, if you are not able to solve, you can mail me in the next video. I will show you the solution how to do in case if you are not able to do. Thank you.